And guess what, guys? It's time for some rumors. Rumors. Mike, take us somewhere dirty. Bring it in. Bring it in. Yeah. Dirty it up, buddy. Well, we have been doing a lot of discussion lately, but uh, we actually what? had a, we actually had a couple rumors rolling. What? <laughs> this what? week. There's actually rumors, rumors to talk about because the community's not you being driven what? by There's... hatred for itself. <laughs> There's always rumors out there, but a lot of them are hard to swallow and not very good. So, But these <laughs> came in this week. Those are my favorite kind. Eh, I know. But... Uh, yeah, there's been other things to talk about later. Yeah, I do so. like the ass butt rumors. Those are great. The ass butt. Ass butt. Ass butt. Mm-hmm. Because they're dumb mm-hmm. as butt. I see. No, got him. <laughs> Andy Circus in the w- news this week, boys. What? The new Raw. Raw. movie? So. <laughs> Raw. 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 Tamed. Power. Raw. And wriggling. He dies in all his movies, doesn't he? <laughs> Raw. Uh, he didn't Has die there been a movie he lived in. He didn't die in. He didn't die in, uh, in uh, didn't the die first in Civil Planet War, of the Apes. Did he? Was it Civil War? He did what? He, what? Captain he, America: Civil War. Wasn't he in that? Oh, one? I, you, I thought you were asking was Andy Circus in the Civil War? Uh, I'm thinking of his character. <laughs> know, like, his most car- people aren't as old as you, Mike. I don't know. His character died right in Black Panther. Uh, yeah, remember. Black Panther. But I think he survived the first one that he was in. Wasn't that would that, be. I believe you're talking Captain about America? Ulysses Claw. Claw. <laughs> oh heavens! Caesar oh, no. died right. <laughs> Spoiler. Wait, uh, what? Yeah, but not for not till the third film. Dude, what? Yeah, but it was his I haven't seen that film yet. Don't ruin it oh, for me. I mean, he he lives a long, happy monkey Son life. Son of yeah. a bitch. Dude, like he's like literally monkeys. the long, only happy monkey. He's one of life. three characters that are in all three films. <laughs> he's not gonna live forever, bro. Son of a bitch. It's just the elongated lives suck. of these monkeys. Oh, that that uh, orangutan yeah. guy. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, that's yeah, why I say he's one of like man. three characters. Yeah, there's like that orangutan guy. There's like three monkeys. Monkeys that live in all that are alive in all three films. That's about it. Yeah. Well, Andy Circus wasn't so lucky in the Last Jedi either. No, nope. if you recall, he got cut in half. It was the worst what? case cut in half I ever seen. <laughs> it was Tyler, pretty bad. What are you doing, man? It was pretty bad. Mm-hmm. His bottom half just fell down. So Don't anyway, worry. lots give him of robot legs. A little bit of speculating going on this week. You robot see, legs. Andy Circus. Was scheduled to attend a uh, Comic Con of some sort or Ooh. another, and uh, apparently he just canceled that con appearance. What? And uh, that is leading to a lot of speculation about his involvement in Ep Nine. You see, return. There are other folks. No, he's got to do Return to the Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Return to the Rise of the. <laughs> it's a, it takes place it, like uh, way in the future. It's and he's a like, sequel prequel. prequel. I see. Pre- a sequel to a prequel. It's a pre sequel. Is this the one where he goes back in time and the whole world is run by damn dirty apes? Yep. I, no, it's run by humans. Oh, it's, wait. Because huh? he is the ape. He yeah. is the ape. I don't understand. It's a fish out of water story. It's a comedy. We think it's going to score great with the 20 to 30 demographic. Wait, doesn't he go back to the present and then he's like Marky Mark or something? Isn't that That's what a different it is? Mo- That's like a different planet, isn't it? But he does become a pop star when the other vampires won't talk to him. <laughs> Is that what it is? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm wow. on board now. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I went deep fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is supposedly of note because uh, they are in the middle of filming Ep9, and uh, there what? are other stars of the movie uh, that have canceled con appearances uh, around the same time, and uh, that's uh, that's people are moving this speculation. So, people are paying attention because it was Ray Park canceling a con appearance when he suddenly got a call to yep. come be Darth Maul. Yippers! You know what? People are really stupid too because he went to that. Apparently, everybody just avoid or ignored him because he was even at the premiere of Solo, yeah, the Star Wars story. I love the fact that he he <laughs> talks about he's at the premiere and he's sitting next to you and McGregor. You and McGregor has. Oh, yeah. No idea yeah, he's in the movie. Is, yeah, this is funny. They get to the scene, and Ewan McGregor starts losing his mind, punching him, and like, yeah, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And Ray Park's like, stop, stop, I want to see myself. <laughs> but Ewan McGregor's losing his mind, like, so thrilled for him. Yeah, yeah, elbowing him. Yeah. Dude, 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 dude. It's you. Yeah, I know, I like to see it. 
I know, it was in the movie. So, uh, it was any, in the movie. Any thoughts about uh, Andy Serkis reprising his role in Nine? I gotta and know what that means. That means they're gonna have a line that contains the word. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Force Ghost Snoke? Uh, yeah, okay, so yeah, I guess that's a good question. Is it, yeah, Force Ghost? Is it flashback? Is it he's returned? Flashback. Well, I, I don't want it to be flashback because I don't. That's, I mean, that's why it's flashback. I got over the fact, yeah, I got over the fact that they're doing flashbacks in Star Wars now. But at the same time, the flashbacks, other than the Force Vision that Ray has in Force Awakened, were all in the Last Jedi, and I didn't like any of them. I didn't like how they. I didn't like those plot devices. Therefore, I haven't seen flashbacks, legit, just flashbacks in Star Wars that I think are done well. So I'm still kind of of the stubborn old mindset that I still don't want them. So having said that, I would prefer if he were some evil force ghost, except for the following. I don't give a crap about Snoke. I would be m- much more like, like I would be much more afraid walking into a cavern in the Knights of the Republic on Korriban than I'm going to run into the ghost of Freedon Nad or Marcus, Ra- you know, Ravnos. Right. That, those characters that I know very little about, but I know enough to know that that was bad. Right. Right. With Snoke, I'm kind of like. Well, he just kind of showed up and he made all the teenagers make a new empire and then you got cut in half. That's all I know. What if he was oh, a no. force wraith? Again, like Ooh, it, force it, wraith. it's like saying what okay, what if everybody was attacked by Wicket's ghost? What if I don't think that okay, well, what I don't if think he came back that as a terrifying. Wookie. See now <laughs> he's, he's I think how he's how he's on to something here because first off um, I'm always on to something. Je- well, Jedi are the only ones hey, that have know. figured out how to reanimate, I guess, their... Well, not even reanimate, but be- their... Be- become their, one with the Force. Yes. Well, th- the but their spirit the- is still there that yeah. they can communicate <laughs> as Obi-Wan or as, you know, whomever. Our understanding um, of, historically of the Sith ghosts... Right. Was are, that they were it's actually... It's like an essence It's an them. essence, like a copy. Right. It's not an actual. Think of continuous. think of Tom Riddle in the diary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it exactly. wasn't Tom it's, Riddle. It's not Voldemort because right. guess what? He's hanging out at the shriveled up Phoenix in a high back chair. You know, <laughs> Phoenix. Fetus. Did oh. I say Phoenix? <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> Just wait till you see the bat fetus. <laughs> so I've seen it. he's a shrill up fetus hanging around with Wormtail, at, you know, at, at whatever the hell. But it, yeah, it, 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 it's it. None of this has any precedence in the new canon. Yeah, right. Other than kind of the little bit of the stuff we saw in Clone Wars, but Clone Wars didn't go into the mechanics of it like we're talking about right now. So he could just be a bad force ghost. Even though canonically in the current canon, only a handful of Jedi ever knew how to become one with the right. Force and do and be a Force ghost. Right. He's in Force uh, Purgatory. That yeah, doesn't mean so, that JJ gives a flying crap about that. Right. Well, yeah. See, that's the thing. If he becomes a Force ghost, I might be a little disappointed in that because because of that very yeah, thing. Yeah. It's like they are the ones so, that limited but, that canon. But if he is a like you said a wraith, you know, or, or an essence of Snoke or something yeah. like that, to me that may be a little more interesting, especially if they're digging into the Force or you know, it's just a holovid some recording. unknown things <laughs> about the Force. Yeah. See, it's like, uh, that's it's like a Cylon with yeah. all time. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be. It's gonna be Maz Kanan. Uh, except killing, this is going to yeah. be an old recording of Snoke. Yeah, it's his last will and testament. All right, I'm getting ready to walk into a meeting. I might die. If you're watching this, that means I was cut in half by that bastard with his raw power. <laughs> what if they have a resurrection ship? <laughs> a resurre- oh, yeah. Ooh, at that point, I, I'm at that point, someone needs to sit down and Snoke and say, let's talk about while you waited until you looked like a sweaty old, like crumpled up nutsack. To use the clones, you, it's funny Those you are say expensive, that, man. <laughs> it's funny you say that because there are some people that are speculating <laughs> that it's he's going to pull a, a Palpatine and and his his essence not is going to go into not canon. Body. La 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 la. <laughs> okay, how do you guys feel if he if he comes back full on and he is Snoke through That'd like a hilarious. cloning or something? It would be Freaking hilarious. It would, yeah, it would be hilarious because it would be a middle finger to Ryan Johnson. Oh, yeah, okay. that would be funny. <laughs> or but, if he actually killed the clone and not really Snoke. Yeah, that's why yeah, Snoke was off on a beach somewhere drinking Mai Tais. Yeah. Oh, next to, it, another clone was next, killed. This next to Steven one. Root from Office Space. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I would laugh at it. It's a jump to conclusions. But to make it work, to make it actually work, How they would have... Last- 
episode when we talked about office. Space That's true. He does, it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he, to actually make it work in the story, they would have to really write some, they would basically have to lay out a, a, an unnoticeable trail for like the first 30 minutes to an hour of the film before the reveal. They would have to actually weave into the plot some clues, some like sixth sense level clues that we don't pick up on. Well, there's red so that everywhere. when they do reveal it, it's like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. They, they did use red. So I got that covered. <laughs> you got red on you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, what if Ray wakes up on that island? On what? Uh, huh? What? What, what like island? Luke's still alive? Yeah. <laughs> oh Ray yeah, Luke. she was all a dream. Oh, boy. <laughs> She's still there. She hasn't even talked to him yet. She was She's just holding on the, the lightsaber. She, she she has, she blacked out. <laughs> she has narcolepsy, forced narcolepsy, <laughs> and she wakes up and she's holding the lightsaber. And Luke just goes, "Hi, I'm Luke. What's your name? <laughs> I'm, Luke. I'm just kidding. I recognize my daughter anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, good old dad. Oh, Nookie, you used to hate these. <laughs> so he's Olaf from. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to think. <laughs> I do. I would like to think that Luke is a little more Olafy in his late age, a little more playful guy. Oh. Doesn't mind shoplifting every yeah. now and then. You know, I'm old. I deserve it. Don't tell yeah. your mother. <laughs> Put these eggs in your pants. <laughs> Better than curmudgeon the old man. That's for damn sure. <laughs> nice. So okay. So least least interesting Snoke return would be would be like flashback, right? <laughs> Most interesting to me would be like a force essence and and factors into the battle somehow. I, I, I wouldn't mind if he didn't factor into the battle, but just like stated some. First off, he hasn't factored into any battle yet. Yeah, no battle. May, yeah, maybe but not like, necessarily if, a battle, but like some even kind of just, exploration of the force. Even if he sort. just like he lay, drops some knowledge that like changes the perspective sure. on whatever's happening yeah. at the time. Yeah, which yeah. is really exposition. Really, that's all he's exposition. done. That's the only purpose he served if, in the first two films is to basically drop knowledge. That's all he's done. He's just been a character that says, actually, it's this way. Rah. And that's all. <laughs> it's the only purpose he served is to what be if, the, the, the guy who just goes, it's the opposite of what I you thought. You. Blah, blah, blah. What if he attached himself to uh, Kylo's lightsaber? I thought you were going to say Chewie's back. But and ahead. then he talks <laughs> He talks to <laughs> Kylo like um, Bob talked to uh, Harry Dresden. Harry Dresden. <laughs> so now it's through, just a lightsaber. Through, yeah, it, it just kind of winks. The, the every glow. time he talks, it, it activates. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! What if that he would had be a stressful. horcrux and, and he's really on the back of Kylo's head? Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm yeah. saying, dude. Yeah, <laughs> Kylo actually pulls back his long black, greasy, snape-like locks, and underneath you see. Ooh, no, no, no! <laughs> it's it's Raylo, and they're getting ready to hook up, and he takes off Ugh. his shirt, and he turns around, and and there's snow coming out of his Ray! back. Oh no! <laughs> Yeah, I was say, get to the reactor because <laughs> living on Kylo's stomach like Garrick Krang. <laughs> no, I don't live on the stomach. I live in the stomach. Wait, well, your mother was the in the car? I don't understand. Quaid. Oh. Quaid. Well, let's name all the various body parts that uh, that <laughs> that Snoke could be living as on Kylo, and let's just get the bat wang joke out of the way right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, Bruce well, Wayne. We could we could I'm have a the brawler, not a shower. We could have the Snoke snatch. <laughs> yeah, yep. that's true. A Snoke snatch would be great. Yeah, Kylo just stopped Snoke shaving snatch. and yeah. then realizes that his beard is Snoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all these better than what we've got. The scars yes. moved back to the other side of his face. So I, yeah. I, I hope they move the scar to I a completely too. different place. It goes over his bridge of his nose. Oh, yeah, yeah, completely different place or it's back to where it was. Like I that. want yeah. the scar to be animated like the like the wall to get the into the Jedi is... Temple in Rebels. You know, it just starts like making moving pictures on his face. It's like a little animated cave painting. Yeah, yeah, I like that idea a yep. lot, actually. Wait, is Snoke beard, does the beard grow in the shape of Snoke, or are they all, is the beard consisted of, like, little Snoke-like polyps, like skin tags that are all little mini Snokes? I don't know, but, but the beard has to move You look real close, look real close, it's got a little nose, a little mouth. Yeah, yeah. I, uh... 
Little all, butt crackhead. I am so uninvested in the story at this point that all of these sound great to <laughs> I me. I know, they do to me too. Mm-hmm. Why amazing. hasn't JJ called this up yet? I'm I don't just... know. That guy is... Because he's too busy taking uh, taking Goo 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 out for dinner at, after every day's run. All right. Yeah, be, he's coming be, back, baby. Be, before we get to our next one, I gotta I gotta ask. Is, is, is Raylo... Is that a thing? Is that yeah. gonna happen? Sure. Uh... <laughs> No, I don't know. That's kissing cousins, man. No, yeah. no, no, not really. Well, it's happened before, and so Garrick, Garrick says yes. They're gonna hook up and have babies. All the babies. So Howie says no. No babies. I no think babies. Kylo's gonna learn the magic spell to implant a baby in Ray. I don't even think Kylo knows how to make a baby without I don't without either. without sexy happy times. I don't think he's got a wiener. He's oh, gonna no. He's got, he's got a little. He's got a little Snoky. <laughs> a little a little Snoky. <laughs> El Snokito. It's, it, El it's Snokito. like a little Smoky, <laughs> but it's actually a little Snoky. <laughs> but it's comparable to a little Smoky. <laughs> Uh, I've been contemplating this Raylo thing. I <laughs> I just don't know how they do that because it's it one feels of the few like things about the Last Jedi that I actually found interesting was their connection. That, yes, but agreed. then as soon as as soon as uh, as soon as it Snoke, was just Snoke Arino says, <laughs> I just was messing with you. Yeah. I, at that point, I, I was like, oh, now it's meaningless and I don't care. Yeah, I kind of felt the same way. I don't know why they didn't leave that as a cliffhanger. I I, <laughs> I don't know why. Blank. I still feel I like the end understand. of that movie should have ended at that throne room with with Kylo reaching out his hand and saying, follow me and credits. And you don't know who says yes, no, I, I'm maybe not say, others. I'm not going to say that's not a better ending to what, yeah, even if n- nothing else was resolved. I'm just like, oh, okay, oh that have been insane. <laughs> you know, Admiral Holdo's over there get, with her finger over the button, and then and then guess what? The movie ends, and she never had a chance to break the laws of physics according to the canon of Star Wars. I'm kind of like, well, yeah, I don't know what happened with the rebels running out of space gas, but at least that didn't happen. So okay, I'm for it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm salty tonight. I guess you're so salty. I've been listening to other. Just, I've just, been listening to other podcasts that are not Star Wars podcasts, but have yeah. have episodes where they talk about Star Wars. Gotcha. And it seems like everybody is not quite as nice as we are about the Last Jedi. <laughs> now, again, I'm not talking about Star Wars podcasts. I'm talking right, about other right, podcasts right. talking about Star Wars, right. and w- we come across as way nicer than the right. stuff that I'm hearing. I'm like, yeah. holy crap. <laughs> We are really pulling our punches for sensitive fans. Mm-hmm. Wow. That movie made all the national treasures. Ugh. So many national treasures. I believe uh, two and a half national, national treasures. treasures. It, yeah. made like, it made like 30 national treasures or yeah, 70 national like treasures. Wow. National That's a lot treasures. of national treasures. That's a lot of national treasures. You know who's a national treasure? Snoke. Nicholas Cage. <laughs> He Nicholas. is a national John treasure. Voight. John Voight. He is too. Yeah, he was quite Son literally a, a national treasure. Yeah, I did. don't like John Voight at all. Why? I, he rubs me the wrong way all the way back to his westerns in the like late sixties, early, early Well, 70s. yeah, he was a little pretentious back then. Well, and He's named after a sporting brand. Is that why? <laughs> well, that, I, I like him in most. I brand. like him in most of his roles as he's. His his senior citizen role. I don't know. And remember, I just recently went back and watched Deliverance for the first time. Yeah, <laughs> then yeah, again, yeah. John Voight, probably the least obnoxious person in that movie, except the 30 minute scene where he climbs a cliff and then climbs back down again. That <laughs> somehow, was pretty awful. <laughs> somehow Angelina Jolie came out. Yeah. Yeah, she did. Yeah. I don't wow. understand that. Yeah, at how did 50% that of her came out of him. That's weird. It's true. Mm-hmm. That yeah. is weird. I don't, I don't know. John Voight, he, I, I don't. It's not that I don't like him. He gives me the creeps. That's that's what it is. I'm trying to think my first exposure to him. <laughs> we're getting way off here. <laughs> I that's think what it was, she said. I think it was Mission Impossible, the first one, like from 93 yeah. or 4. No, it was like 97, oh. I think. 96 or 97. No, couldn't have been that way. The one no. they based the Nintendo no. game off of? Yeah, the N sixty four game. The Nintendo. Actually, that, that game did come out a few years after the movie. I think you're right. I had it. I had a Mission Impossible game. It was fun. You would play it in my room. Yeah. So like like Raylo just doesn't make sense to me because I feel like ninety six. Ninety six, there you go. I guess I was rightish. And so were you. I just feel like they gotta kill Kylo. I, I, I don't feel like they could do another redemption story. I wanted Kylo to be redeemed until they did the last minute U turn at the end of Last Jedi. Yeah. I wanted I I thought a redemption story would be 
like 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 a slower burn redemption story rather than the last minute Vader switches because electricity sucks, right? Like, oh man, you're shocking the baby. Not cool. Um, that's my son. <laughs> that's my son. And uh, so I thought like, well, if this, you know, before we saw the last Jedi, I was like, if this whole trilogy is all about redeeming this character, I feel like that's different enough that it could explore that better. But I, that all bets are yeah. off in my opinion. I know. I mean, he killed Han, and then he, you know, yeah. that's what threw I'm saying. his little baby fit to shoot right. it, and then uh, and then did not turn, did not Han. turn again when he had the opportunity Allegedly. with Ray. So <laughs> that's the other thing. I, I felt like that movie could have. I I, I could have swore they were going to go on the gray Jedi, you know, path. That, all that movie did was slam as many doors as possible, and it felt like it opened one door, which was see anybody can be a Jedi, but it's like. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we did not mm-hmm. think that. Yeah, I, I never thought that. That's I never, why I never yeah. I never understood that. Yeah, I, I don't know why we need to be that. told we, we need to be told that the one thing you left open in this movie gives us nothing more than we had before, but you slammed the doors on a bunch of other stuff. So I don't hey, I don't know, speaking man. Of, speaking of things getting turned over. Oh boy. What's the next one? Yeah, uh, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Well, yeah, there's like a, about a su- twist. Supposedly, the big sp- domino coming the, in. There? The big spoiler that people are chatting about this week, or potential spoiler, I guess, is the, yeah, the big supposed twist that's coming in episode nine, which is going to involve some mm, double agentry, some uh, betrayal, perhaps. Bothans. Ray is actually dead. This is the the biggest the whole time. This is the biggest, most obvious thing in the world to me. <laughs> and I'm like, yep, that's JJ level. Uh, yeah, that's that, that's exactly what I expect. Like, I this is not even a surprise or like it's not even a spoiler to me. Yeah. I'm just kind of like, yep, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, everybody assumed when they started talking about this that they were talking about a betrayal on the resistance side. No, that's not what they're talking about. They're talking about. A potential betrayal on the First Order side, and that would be Hux betraying. <laughs> I know that's my first exact order. reaction. Garrick was just a, to a laugh, like like a, a snort. And it's kind of like okay, so now that Hux make zero sense. It makes perfect sense because no, it, Hux it, acts like a baby, and so he's going to act like a baby. And well, and, see, and I don't like the fact that Kylo's in charge. He makes all the rules, and he picks me last for the team. Hey. Well, the, I think where this has a little bit of credibility is there's. I guys, think it's completely credible. Well, if you remember at the end of The Last Jedi where um, it was after Rey and Kylo battled and they broke the lightsaber and they both got knocked out, she slips out and somehow gets back on the Falcon and, and somehow <laughs> and flies to, <laughs> flies I guess. to, to crate. Um Crate, I picks her up think. somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Some, somehow, yeah. And yeah, a, she ends up doing a, a thing when there's some get, rocks that float around. And <laughs> she gets shot off in a torpedo tube or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, she was in Hux, Hux comes into the throne room and sees Kylo laying on the floor. And if you remember, there's a split second where Hux actually goes to pull his pistol out, acting like he's going to shoot him in the head. Yeah. And then, uh, so anyway, I think that's where this is maybe getting some some credibility. This, that's what I'm saying. This, there, <sighs> like this isn't a, this isn't even a spoiler. It's no surprise. It's literally just a cheap gimme. So whether it is in the movie or not, I don't well, care because the impact of it is like me. Yeah. It's not like Hux is suddenly going to be a good guy. He's still going to be a selfish brat. Right. Well, that's the thing with this rumor is that they're saying that it's not even because he's betraying the first order per se. He's betraying the first order specifically to make Kylo look bad. Yeah. I, I don't know. They, those two have never been able to share the sandbox. Well, mm-hmm. I the, the problem with the Hux character to me is, you know, after Force Awakens, I, I was okay with their with with Kylo and Hux's, you know, back and forth. They clearly didn't like each other, blah blah blah. But the Hux character in the Last Jedi was just turned into a parody. Yeah, of he's a, he's a baby. He was a dumb baby. Yeah. Even the dude who was in charge of the dreadnought with the guns on it was mad at him. Like that dumb baby. We should have done this all five minutes ago. Yeah. You know, and then he got blowed up. Like I said, the yeah. best, oh, the best first order best, commander yeah, we've seen right. blown up right after we meet him. Right. <laughs> and he was in there going, we should have bloody well done this five minutes ago. Uh, I don't care about Hux at all. At yeah. all. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's a ridiculous character. 
It's a, uh, mm, it's, nothing, yeah, I mean, nothing. it seems like if they would try to pull that off in nine, that, yeah, it just doesn't feel like it would have much credibility because you of what me, you're saying. You want me to be interested in Hux? Have Hux just go AWOL. He left the first order. He abandoned it because he didn't want to find, you know, didn't want to hang with Kylo. And they just find him somewhere laying low with a beard. And he like doesn't even want he does not even himself like he he pretends he's not himself he denies that he's even him because he's afraid they're going to execute him and they have to convince him to betray the first order. So like, like a I, fake beard, yeah, like a fake long beard. And a- <laughs> yeah, yeah, like like a like a like a bunch of a detachable Snoke polyps. Is it? I was going to say, is it a Snoke beard? It's a Snoke beard. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and it's just one upside down Snoke head <laughs> hanging off his chin. No, I, but like literally, like he's just he's just he's left and he's he's on the lamb and he's trying to just lay low. He doesn't want to pick a sides. He's just worried. He wants to get as far from Kylo's spot. Then I would be like, okay, this is interesting because Hux gave up his pursuit for power because he was hopeless on it, and now he's made a character evolution. For me, for Hux to, to betray the first order to the resistance because Kylo sucks is not an evolution of the character, and I'm tired of the characters not evolving. Tired of it. I, yeah, I don't disagree. <laughs> Tired of it. <laughs> I don't disagree. Yeah, I, I, yeah. He, his character feels like it was wasted to me, much like. And they don't. They don't really. I mean, outside of after, they don't really touch on him that much. No. And it's sad. I mean, I want to know more about poor little Huxy. Well, I mean, you need you need to have bad characters that are more developed than they are. I mean, you could argue all day about. The, you know the the hero characters on the resistance side the, you know whether or not they were developed through the last jedi but one thing you can say for certain is that nobody except kylo ren has any growth on the the first order side right and it's hard to say that kylo ren has growth cuz he just keeps spinning in circles <laughs> yeah right i mean trade. there wasn't yeah much there for him even but yeah. i mean out of out of all of them he's the only one that has any kind of a character path. Well, Finn had Hux, growth. Hux is a joke. Um, Snoke gets cut in half. Phasma is dead now, apparently. Man, eh, whatever. But on the other side, Allegedly. Finn had growth because see what he did is he was a, he was doing a cowardly thing, and then he came around and decided to help out because circumstances made it easier. Oh wait, right. that's exactly what he did in the Force Awakens as well. Right. Yeah. Poe had character development. He went from being like a hot shot oh, best pilot to being a hot shot best pilot who's also a whiny asshole who doesn't believe anybody's got a plan and is willing to commit treason. Oh, you know wait, what? no, that's that's backward. Actually, no, fit- then he turned it around at the end. No. And, he and got, Okay, reason, yeah, so he made maybe. it back. He made it back to the start as well. I, oh. Finn, Finn's the character that I'm most disappointed in because I really felt like... I, I don't know. He, especially how they set him up in Force Awakens. I mean, to be the the guy that is just trying to get away, you know, and you know is is brought back into this because of his fondness for you know Ray, and that's really the only reason he's there. He's not really there because he believes in the Resistance or any of their message and mm-hmm. all that stuff. And then and then in in Last Jedi. It's just like he okay, he's there, but, in both it's, but movies, Ray is no longer his. In both the movies, that he's he sticks there. around because someone says like a word that makes him go, "Oh, hey, I know something about that." That's the only reason well, he sticks around. Like and I, plus, Martha, <laughs> and plus Rose electrocuted him while. Yeah, there's that. That happened. Yeah, couldn't leave. I I just felt like there could have been, there was so much potential for that character. The only character that's done any do evolution, <laughs> the only character that's done ev- any evolution is Ray, and her one evolution is this. Uh, instead of being driven to f- get Luke to help, she's just gonna take things into herself. her own hands. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, she right. Nothing else that she set out to do, like everything failed. Everything she wanted to do failed. So as a result, the only evolution is she's accepted her own. She's accepted the failing of the other things. Right. That's that's what frust. There's one of the things that frustrates me about these movies is that the ball hasn't moved. You know. All right. Well, JJ's definitely got his his uh, work cut out. For yeah, him, he does for sure. So. Yeah, he good does. And good thing he's got Andy Circus on the case. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. And a twist from General Hux. That's not a twist. That's my thing. <laughs> it's not a twist. It's just another lazy it's a, trope. It's a nipple twist, man. Yeah, that's what mm, it's going to feel like. Nips. <laughs> but not like in a good way, like in the car battery kind of way. Well, that's all I had in terms of rumor. Okay.